Wonderful learners, I feel so excited to be with you once more. I am still Mrs. Uluyebisi Woleshuge and will continue with our study of the IF clauses type 2 and type 3. Of course, we treated the type 1 in our last lesson and so it will be pertinent to progress in teaching and learning of the series of the if clauses or conditional clauses. Now we take if clause type two. This is a conditional clause that is possible but very unlikely that the condition will be fulfilled. It refers to situation in the simple past. It also contains two clauses, if and men. The structure is thus expressed. If plus simple past plus conditional would, could, might plus verb infinitive. Examples. One, if he knew the address, he would visit her. Two, if I were you, I would not do this. Lesson objectives. At the end of this lesson, learners will be able to do these following activities. One, identify and explain if clauses type 2 and 3. 2. Use them correctly in sentence formulations. And 3. Derive appropriate meaning from them in sentences. Now we take the uses of if clause type 2. First, is hypothesis. By this, we mean guesses, ideas, and speculations. Examples. One, if I had your phone number, I would call you. Two, if you came to the party, we would have a lot of fun. Second, unlikely situations. Examples. One, if he had the time, he would study well for his exam. Two, if she knew the answer, she would win the prize. Third, unreal situations. Examples. One, if, I, if it didn't rain, we will go on a picnic. Two, if I were 22 and rich, I would travel the world. Fourth, give advice. Examples. One, if he had enough experience for the job, the boss could hire him. Two, if I were a chairman, I would offer new and different ideas. From the foregoing, we can very well say that the if clause type 2 is used to th think of opposite of an event that is happening in the present or future. Also to put forward a condition and to express the result of imaginary condition. It is often used to express wishes and desires for the past. Would instead of will, did instead of do, could instead of can. It is untrue either in the present or future. Let's go for a break. Stay tuned. Welcome back. 
Note, the sentence can begin with either the main clause or the if clause type 2. Comma comes after the if clause type 2 if it starts a sentence. Examples. 1. If we use the time properly, we would finish our project. We would finish our project if we use the time properly. 2. If you had an invitation card, you would attend the conference. You would attend the conference if you had an invitation card. Now we go to if clause type 3. The structure. The sentence here usually comprises of past perfect tense in the if clause, while in the main clause it is generally modal perfect, would, have, and verb, which of course bears the result. Modals can be used in the main clause instead of would to express a degree of certainty, permission, or a recommendation about an outcome. Examples. If I had found her address, I would have sent her an invitation. Two. I would have passed the exam if I had studied. If class type 3 indicates to us a possible condition and its result, that is, expected action on a condition, it expresses the past in the impossible situation that can no longer be changed that is, imaginary, unreal, or impossible condition in the past that did not happen. Uses. Firstly, often used to express criticism or regret. Examples. One, if he had talked to me, I would have listened. Two, if she had saved enough money, she would have bought a new car. Secondly, modus can be used in both clauses or in one part. Examples. One, if I had the power, I might have looked after myself. Two, if my son could have taken the English course, he could have passed the exam. Thirdly, one or two of the clauses can be negative. Examples, if one, if I had passed my exams, I wouldn't have been sad. Two, if you had not listened to your parents, you wouldn't have been this successful. Three, if I hadn't stopped on the way, I would have arrived before 3 p.m. For questions, examples. One, would you have helped me if you had the time? Two, wouldn't you have slided if I didn't want you? Note, just as we types 1 and 2, type 3, 2 applies the comma after the if clause if it begins a sentence. Going on a break now, don't go away. Welcome to the final segment of the lesson. Below are a catalog of questions drawn across the years from section 5 
of the SSCE past questions and answers booklet touching our topic of the day. On if clause type 2, we have the following. Number 59 of 1992 says, if it hasn't rained, I would have completed the work. Number 49 of 2014, when I came home, my mother asked if I had eaten. Number 40 of 1989 says, if I had heard what actually happened, I would have punished him. Now we go to if clause type 3. Number 44 of 2013 says, If I had heard the news earlier, I would have stayed at home. Number 62 of 2003 says, you wouldn't have come if you had known. Number 63 of 2010 says, if they had known us, they wouldn't have treated us like that. And number 44, of 2012 says if the police had not intervened quickly the suspected thief would have been killed by the mob all right learners i do hope you have heard a wonderful time of learning with me today i shall be looking forward to come in your way again, and that very shortly, in order for us to conclude our series on the conditional clauses lessons. Till then, it's more work and more study. You can visit the following sites for more knowledge. First, www.englishgrammarhere.com. Secondly, you have www.englishstudyhere.com. And lastly, we have EnglishStudyPage.com. Bye.